Welcome to How to Cook That, I'm Ann Reardon and today I thought it would be fun to look at one of the most successful baking channels on YouTube. No, it's not my channel. They have four and a half million subscribers and over 100 million video views a month. They had 115 million video views last month and they started less than a year ago, so that's pretty impressive. Just to put it in context, 115 million views, that's more than, let's say, Liza Koshy plus Superwoman plus Rosanna Pansino put together. That doesn't add up even to 100 million, all of their video views combined. This is crazy word. This is huge, this channel. So it's got to be good, right? Because YouTube recommends good content, quality content is king, good videos get views, right? Yeah. So let's take a look. All their videos are in the same format. It's a compilation of lots of short, fast-forwarded cooking clips put to music. The videos actually look like they've been made for Facebook or Instagram, not for YouTube. I only say that because all of the videos are square, in square format, and YouTube usually in the HD wider format. So it looks like they've made it for Facebook or Instagram and then just repurposed it. Let's look at the first video on their channel. This one has 36 million views and I think looking at that it's one of their most viewed videos so let's watch this one so they take ice cream that that's a lot of ice cream melt it over a double boiler wouldn't it have been easier to melt that in the microwave rather than over a double boiler anyway How is melted ice cream plus extra sugar supposed to whip into a frosting that's nice and thick like that? Okay, let's try that. Now they're using their frosting to put together a cake, but my frosting is liquid, so I guess I'll just make up some Italian meringue frosting and colour it the same pink as the ice cream so it kind of looks like ice cream frosting. nothing new here checkerboard cakes have been done so many times all over YouTube so there's nothing amazing about that it was the ice cream frosting that was amazing too good to be true maybe let's move on ice cream the second cone didn't even have a hole in the bottom of it Okay, cooking hats. So two empty soda bottles. There's barely any drips of juice coming out. And magically, now there's a whole jug of juice that looks like it's been bought from the store. Basil. Jed is growing heaps of basil in the garden, so we should try this one. Okay, so basically you take some basil, chop it up, Put it in a bowl with more basil, 
chuck it in the microwave for 60 seconds, take it out, and there's this magically dried basil. Mine is still damp and soft, warmed basil. Let me put it in again. Now it's fairly dry, but it doesn't look anything like theirs does, and it doesn't taste or smell of basil anymore. Oh wait, I think I must have missed a really important step in this recipe. Let me just do that. There we go. Now we can put that in the microwave, pull it out, and dried basil ready to go in my jar. Beautiful. See, it works, it works, yeah. Again, the same video. That's another thing about this channel is they only put up three minutes of new footage and then they just reshuffle and repeat old footage so they can extend the video out to be 10 or 14 minutes, which is what content farms do. So this is a bit like a content farm, I guess, so they can keep up with the constant upload schedule, which the algorithm seems to like constant lots of videos every week. I thought YouTube had a rule against that, like a no duplicated content rule. Never mind. Gummy bear hacks. This is going to be useful. This doesn't even look like it would work. I'm going to try it. My spoon can't get into the gummy part because it's like a, a gummy bear. How am I going to get this out without breaking the glass? How did their spoon just slide right through the gummy part? And mine doesn't. I must have done it wrong. It must be my mistake. I'll, I'll just go make it again with some Jello? Did I misread the recipe? Did I was I supposed to use jelly or jello? There you go. Now it's working. So let's face facts. Ordinary YouTube bakers are being pushed out of existence by content farms who upload so often that genuine baking videos just can't seem to get through all of that content farm content anymore. Here's the views per month from the top five baking YouTubers for the last two years, and here's content farm views. The whole how-to area is just being overtaken by these ones. I get comments week after week saying, please don't stop uploading, that I should actually share with you why people are stopping uploading, why genuine YouTubers aren't doing it anymore, because they actually can't justify the cost. Some of the videos I make take more time to film and cost more in ingredients than we're getting back in AdSense from YouTube. So it just makes it really hard to justify continuing to do it. So it's up to you guys. I don't know if it'll make a difference. Share this video with the hashtag SaveYouTubeBaking and tweet YouTube. Let them know you're not happy. Let them know you want to see more of the genuine YouTube creators sticking around and not just going off the platform. Maybe they might do something about it. They might actually listen to viewers instead of not listening to YouTubers. And do me a favor, I'm gonna list up some genuine YouTube creators on the screen. Go look up some of the names of these channels, search them up, watch some of their videos, comment, like, share, help them out, and hopefully you can keep them on the platform for a bit longer. Next year, I'm only going to be uploading every second week instead of every week. If you'd like to support the channel and help keep it going, if you've loved watching it over the years and you like having a family-friendly cooking channel with recipes that actually work, then head on over to Patreon backslash H2CT and show your support there. Thanks so much. Love you all. Make it a great week and I'll see you Friday. Bye.